Hi guys, hope everybody's having a great day. Um, so today I'm going to jump up and um, give you, hopefully give you some motivation. So I'm going to tell a little bit of a story and um, we're going to talk about willpower, stubbornness, and sugar and how all those three things connect, for me at least. So let's first define those things. Willpower defined is your ability to resist short-term temptation in order to meet long-term goals. Stubborn has a lot of definitions, but the word that kept coming up over and over again was the word unyielding. And we all know what sugar is, right? All right. So how those three things connect for me, let me tell you a story. Uh, when I was younger, I played tons and tons of sports. One of the first ones being t-ball and little league baseball. Where the field was, you know, of course there was a concession stand. So my favorite thing to do was before and after games, I would go stock up on Pixie Sticks, Fun Dip, all that good stuff. Like major leaguers had their tobacco in their back pocket, I had Fun Dip. So, you know, my white pants were always stained with purple and green powder of the Fun Dip. So that's where, where I remember my love affair with sugar starting. Um, as it went on, that turned into wanting to reward myself for doing something good with sugar. So cleaning up the house as a kid, I earned a dollar. We'll talk about my pay rates as a kid for later. But as soon as I got that dollar, I walked straight to Walmart and got a bag of Twizzlers for 99 cents. Uh, when I was in college and had to drive home from ECU the whole way to Pittsburgh, I had my whole bag of gummy bears and whatever else candy I could find at the gas station to keep myself awake. So that was my reward for doing a good job. So fast forward to my career in health and fitness. I should not have been the trainer that had my drawer full of candy sitting next to me to eat when there wasn't a client with me, okay? Um, so I could see the toll that it was having on my body, not in weight gain, but things like acne, mood swings, fatigue, just needing that sugar in the afternoon as a pick me up. So I decided to give it up over and over and over and over again. But last October, I've made the decision like, okay, Halloween is it, month of November, I'm gonna give up that candy. So I went 30 days without it and it sucked because I had withdrawals, headaches, all that kinds of stuff, but I did it. I realized that my natural stubbornness could be positive or negative. After November, December came around, gave it up. 30 days, I said 30 days at a time, I got this. Still, I'm going strong, so pray for me. Uh, but I decided to use my stubborn personality trait as a positive in my life, to apply that unyielding determination to resisting short-term temptations in order to meet my long-term goal. My goal was to clean up my diet, to make myself healthier, to feel better, to not feel as tired all the time. So I had to have willpower and the stubbornness to commit to that willpower. So think about your long-term goals. Is it weight loss? Is it gaining muscle? Is it feeling more energized? Is it building a consistent routine in the gym? Now I want you to think about the temptations. What are the short-term temptations that you no doubt will face on your journey to your long-term goals? Is the temptation um, something in your nutrition like mine was? Is it staying up late, skipping workouts, remembering to get enough water, Remember to get enough protein, whatever it is, put a name to it. Plan for these short-term temptations and I want you to attack them with a positive stubbornness and commitment to your willpower. So after you're finished watching this video, I want you to write in the comments um, what your obstacles are gonna be, what your temptations are gonna be. How are you planning to attack those? First thing, get it out there. Tell us what they are so that we can help you, so that we can hold each other accountable. And you'll find there's others that have those same temptations and will help you put together a strategy to overcome those obstacles. So I challenge you to take these next two weeks of the Comeback for Your Cause Challenge. We've got to finish strong, but I want you to, guy, to think of those things that are steering you away from your goals. Commit to overcoming those for the next two weeks. After that, we'll go two more weeks and two more weeks. But let's start one day at a time, two weeks at a time, okay? So do not let your willpower fade. I want you to stay positively stubborn and committed to your willpower. Thanks guys, have a good day.